What's going on, everyone? My name is Razor and welcome to Pond Number 22 of Race Pro. <laughs> and now, by the time this is recorded, I was planning yesterday to just finish off the last of the Group E contracts, but my mind was like, it's not gonna happen. Stop thinking about it. So yeah, I just thought they like it was not, not nobody's business, and I don't even know why. <laughs> so yeah, what I'm gonna do? Do the last contracts today, and then just start off Group F contracts tomorrow. One of the cars we haven't used yet and GT Sport is the C280 GT. And also, first things first, this guy is that we gotta do a tryout. But it's gonna be cut out. Alright, the tryout's not done. <laughs> the three races that we take place will be at Monza, Grand Satch, and Oscar Swift. First race is at Monza. Ooh, yay! We get to do more races at Monza. Anyways, let's go. Alright, let's go. Hey, before we have a truck, but we get 15 other cars. Okay. You see a car that you also don't see much often, which is the C2 or GT. I didn't know that they, I didn't know that they just made this type of machine. Heck, I don't even remember the the time the previous time that I've done a contract like this. Like this one, you know. Oh, oh god. Wow. I can't believe I just rammed the back of that Marcos. Now now the headlights are completely broken. What's weird about this car is, is how heavy it is. I mean, look at this big body of this c Torito. It's big. Oh yeah, and I do remember, five lap races. <laughs> I thought it is possible from like, you know, yesterday's part where I put in the description that we come to the point where the, where the races are indeed long now. Hence, three races on contracts and five laps at long tracks, you know. Anyways, I did look at single race mode, and I just found out that the longest track by Link was actually World America, at 4 miles. The longest track is World America, but by length, so... I still think the longest one would be Macau, but that's because I'm just sorting out by time, by how long you can do a, long, do a lap around the track, now, not how long the length of the track is and stuff. Yeah, so, World America, longest track by length, I predict that... Macau, longest track by time. Yeah. So, what have you guys been doing this summer, though? I, of course, many of us would like to know, though, but... Um... Yeah. Oh, God, save my nose, is itchy. I put the control, well, like... You know, near me so that my thumb, so that my hands that are going to control, my thumb can, you know, scratch the nose. So I can't believe how how huge this car is. Yep, headlights are destroyed because of you know that incident. Why won't why won't this cane here? You know. I can't believe how heavy it is as well. I can imagine this car being heavy. It's huge. It's possibly heavy because of the body and was, you know. I even see like, you know, Forza has events where there's like it's open to heavyweight cars, like the Continental and the 4612, Asamon, D B seven or D B nine or whatever. Those are examples of heavyweight cars, you know. What a great season of racing that has to help with us, so. <laughs> you know, about this game, I did watch um, Classic Game Room's review, or CGL, you know, whatever you call it, Classic Game Room's review, even on the chance called Little Carnage. I did watch a review on this game, though. Yes, I did we'll make a review on Race 4 for the Xbox 360, and it's a type of racing game that you would, that you would, um, need for boredom and stuff. They, yes, that person has did try out the game and uh, and like you know, <laughs> he says that it's great that after each country you earn trophy cars, you know, which is true. 
<laughs> it's great that you're in trophy cars. That's my sub two minutes lap time. And that um and that was interesting what was also interesting about this game is that there's a championship mode. Which, you know, creates some hype so you can adjust the difficulty settings of that mode as well. Well of however you want it, how many laps you want, if there's tie well. I hope there's tie well. How does how the weather will be playing in the fact though? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there was a championship mode in this. I did try it out before, but I don't remember what I did there because I know I, I know I did try championship mode only once. It's just that I don't know if I completed the entire season or if I just stopped in the middle of, of the season and just you know like screw it, I'm done with this. But I'm hope, but I'm hoping that you will stop giving me the negative. <laughs> and also, geez, I'm pretty sure you will be pr you'll be finally relieved that this game is gonna be over, though. I know some of you might be playing dislikes on this. Some of you liking this as well. I know for a fact because I because I watch because I look at the my video band show, the data it gives me and stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys is gonna be relieved that this game will be over. I'm telling you. Another, I'm gonna take you another time as I just kind of screwed up that turn though. This game was this was is made on this game so people can know what career mode is like. Yep, I'm doing only career mode. Championship mode is just you know, just for fun to know. I'm not gonna do championship mode, but you know, this game I did a, I'm doing a recipe on this just because people know what the career mode is like, people know what it's like though. So. I mean, I thought people would like to see what it's like, though, but yet still. Hey. Give me bad numbers. Ooh. <laughs> That's not good. If you read the like the WTCC signs up there, you can note that little sign underneath the WTCC sign that says FIA World Touring Car Championship. Because basically, you know, that's what WTCC is. It stands for World Touring Car Championship by the... I don't know what the FIA stands for. It must be Finishing International Association with Racing, you know? It could be. The Finish International Association, that's what I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. <laughs> and I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, oh, get my, oh, get this game, please, get this game, please do this game. Yeah, you know what the problem is. This isn't really much game sounds that you know to play. I mean, there was a game that I'm looking to like do. I've already done replay as a one of us play. Cause. To get to get those hairs off my back, you know, you know, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I don't replay just to get those hairs off my back. So, but you know, that was only me. That's just that one time though. Hairs are actually motivated to say, and you know that is kind of true though. That's kind of true though, except for the fact that you know, Flying Lottie just you know got archived and keep getting like this like so, and he closed down his channel. Because, yeah, can't believe someone was able to like manage. I can't believe like you know someone was able to like manage his account. Well, not exactly manage that channel account, but he was able to be subscribed to it. Pretty sure he was just to just to just like go and consider it and just just like his videos and just like download them, download all his videos and just archive it onto onto YouTube as a way as a way for other people to just like you know. I hate against him. I know that's cool, but still, he has got a lot of views. And I put him on the plate with reformed person in front because he is actually my friend, though. Yep, 
Yep, he is actually my friend, though. Might get him up for a part in this, so I don't know. Just to just to talk things over, because as we all know, I'm inconsiderate. We no, I'm not inconsiderate because as we all know, I'm winning races for something like because yeah, and you guys don't like that, but that's just how it is. So I didn't, I did not, I did not put it this way. The game made it this way, not me. Oh, 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 okay then. That just happened. We just went just happened right in that turn. Oh, and look at this. Look at this guy going like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't even know if I just like... I'm gonna hit the wall though. Anyways, race number two is at Brands Hatch. Let's race. Hey, they put me up. They put me up in fourth. I can't just start it there. Yeah. Okay. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I know something. I want that. Um. They. Oh man, lost my train of thought. I always lose everything. Why do I forget things so many times? I know we all do, but sometimes we forget things that are important. And for more, you, you would, you know, you would uh, find out and like memorize that, you know, parents gonna yell at you for that reason, particular reason. And you don't want that happening. I mean, you feel bad. I mean, you do feel bad about getting yelled at, but. But you know, the things I've learned is that you. is that. If you get yelled at, it's because they care about you, and I understand that. I mean, like you know, it's not it's not my guy just won that though. Even though I'm not lying, I knew this a while back, you know. But still, just because they yell at you doesn't mean that they don't love you. I do respect that. I mean, I mean, people should respect that too, you know. They care about you. That's why they are worried, and they have to put down the rules and stuff. Especially with what I've, you know, learned from that movie. If you if you guys like chocolate, you should really watch that movie show in the chocolate factory because it is pretty it's a pretty good movie. It even has Johnny Depp in it. <laughs> I mean like you know, chocolate balls I don't eat often, but I do like chocolate. <laughs> I really do like chocolate. <laughs> And there was a really crazy com crazy advertisement that I watched in one video where there's like, you know, a craving for chocolate where you just like, you know, put like eggs down, chocolate sugar, and like, you know, flour, and then you just mix it up to just mix, you know, chocolate sauce and stuff. The way you could try crepes is that there was like, you know, crepes, crave like, you know, cereal. Well, like, there are crackers and you can eat for cereal, but they are stuffed with chocolate inside. And I used to I used to like the commercials for Crave, for Crave cereal, where like you know the crack, where like you know the chocolate is just wandering around, and then like you know the the Crave crackers are just like you know like like you know start an army where like and then like you know they just chase the chocolate and then just eat them with their mouths, you know. And at the end of each commercial, they like you know, I think well, like you know. They like you know scour the screen at you though, like breaking the fourth wall and then just like you know, you know, very flop each other and then like you know, get back into the cereal box. <laughs> Man, that that was one of the great commercials there were. <laughs> that was a yep, that was a good, also a great commercials. I'm mean, not used to watch TV though. Now I don't watch TV that much. I'm just committed to like you know. YouTube and stuff. <laughs> Even though I know for a fact that I'm not gonna do this full time next year. Because looking forward to get a job next season. Wait, why did I say season? I meant to say year. I keep thinking about NASCAR seasons. I 
I mean, like, whenever I, ta I have time to record, I just, just, like, you know, bring it immediately, though. Just, you know, release the video immediately. I mean, like, you know, I really, I really wonder what kind of jobs there are. I mean, like, you know, I don't know much because I don't, I don't even have work, work experience in a job before. I mean, like, I, I know some jobs have, possibly a lot of jobs have interviews, so, and, um, yeah. And I know the fact that, like, you know, half of my family has jobs. I don't even know if my sister has a job yet. My mother works as a nail salon, as my brother works as a as a like a waiter at like a restaurant though maybe some restaurants I don't know but he does work at restaurants and they're not fast food restaurants they're not like you know you stand at the cashier or you just bring out the food you take their you take their orders and stuff like that yeah some yeah sometimes I really, I really like jobs that can get like you know give you like money and it's one of the shows I used to watch as, as a, as a, like, a boy where I was looking to get a job to, you know, to get money, you know, to get money. And, like, you know, you can't find a job because, like, those jobs require, like, skills that you need to do. And he, he hardly has any skills, so. And my skills, I actually mean special skills, so. Sorry if I like confuse you people. I, I actually meant to say special skills though. And you find the junk shop where there's no special skills needed and that's this type. So he goes over there to get a job and it turns out it actually turned into a secret job. Yeah. I'm not telling you because I watched that show before, I don't watch it anymore. But it's actually a kids TV show. I know that for a fact. Yep, I used to watch it. Yep, I was a kid that used to watch Nickelodeon like ev like every day. I was a kid that used to just come home, stay home just to watch premieres of new episodes and stuff. Not the person anymore. Don't really give a care about TV anymore. Except for the fact that I, have, I really have to keep up with my NASCAR race. Considering I just, considering I just missed like two Xfinity races. Because of my forgetness. Yep. This <laughs> Daytona Xfinity race and the Kentucky race as well. I was able to keep up with the truck and cup races. That's that's good for a fact, you know. <laughs> it makes it kind of weird just to see those cars on the other side, you know. As you see in the map, though. But no, I don't care about TV shows anymore. I'm whole, fully invested on <laughs> Undertale and, and you know. YouTube and stuff like that. Maybe one day you'll see a playlist on my on this channel that sees which fans get appearances. By that, by how I define it, not only my voice can be in it, but you know my name that's listed. So na my name that's listed in there, I can consider that it gets appearance as well because you get credited for that you know specific, specific part though. Yeah, we really hope that you put my credits in there. I almost <laughs> drove off the world there. Anyways, this race is done, and we haven't been to this track for a while though. We haven't wasted for a while as well. That's what I meant to say. At the beginning, I think I said that. But yeah. Anyways, last race is that Oscar Swibbon. Last race. Hey, they put me on the pole this time. Yay! And <laughs> I don't. And we haven't been here for a while though. That's what, at least that's what I think. Pretty sure the last time we went here is when I waited for the BDM3 GTR. Look at that, that black Sunwind SR21 just passed me, you know. And you know, first corner braking maneuvers are tough to handle.
Okay. <laughs> As some of you might know about this game, some of you that might know about this game, you know that this game likes de death of in-game music. I think I might be just planning to just put like, you know, music in here. Make music during this LP so you guys don't have to get bored and dislike the videos and stuff like that. I think... Yeah, I, yeah, I really think that, um, yeah. I really think that I might have to put some music in these parts so you guys don't get bored. Just, just me, just, you know, clobbering everyone because of how this game works and stuff. So seriously, yeah. I I just recently listened to Pixel Pair from Kevin McLeod. Yeah, how I learned about him is that um is that the music was supplied by Kevin McLeod and the Michael Hickox Wicker videos. If you don't if you don't want if you don't if you haven't known of Michael Hickox films, you should really watch him and possibly subscribe to him because he really makes great Lego animations and he's on the way to get a million to a million subscribers. That's gotta be nice. As those LEGO videos have just received millions of views, the two most popular ones were LEGO Shopping and LEGO School. <laughs> a way of learning about life. Yeah. But in the videos that when Michael Hickox started putting music in, the music was supplied by Ken McWeird. Although, I thought he, said he would give the music to him, but no, it was actually downloaded by Michael Hickox and stuff. And Hickox did give McWeird credit. Credit. Until Hickox decided to just you know, get different composed music from Charles Hilson, in which I th now think is a good friend of Michael Hickox, as uh, Charles Hilson disapplied the, um, disapplied the music of Tim and Wow for Hickox to use in the video. <laughs> Gotta love Tim and Wow. So the videos are hilarious. Dead three seasons, each season is five episodes long. Yeah, and I and I learned more about Kevin McRear when other people decide to use this music, you know. And I will give credit to him if I, you know, start to like, um... Um... You know, put music in. I'm not gonna put music in this part though, I don't think I will, but... If I forget, it's my fault. If I don't forget, then it's still my fault, but, you know, makes things, makes videos less boring. Pretty sure this video will be boring by the time we're talking though. <laughs> That's my sub-135 lap time while on this track. Hopefully we, hopefully we drive a car in the next part that doesn't, that's not heavy as this. I mean, look at this heavy car. It's still heavy. And that boy was huge as, as huge as heck. Yeah, so I'm not gonna put music in this part, and say I'm just gonna support, find the music, you know, just find the music, just download it. Of course, I'm gonna download the music, and just, you know, supply it for, like, you know, the next part, sign your part 23, so you guys don't have to get bored and stuff. So, whatever songs I think is interesting to listen to, I'm gonna look over like possibly ev I don't think every one of Kim McGree's songs because he, like he made so many of them. But whatever songs I think is interesting to listen to, I am gonna like, you know, just get the song and just just put in the video though. And I will put credit. I will give credit to him though. Cause yeah. Just you know, racing games. Videos are interesting with music, you know. Yeah, that's why you believe videos are very interesting with music. <laughs> Weird carousel that they supply here. Oh God, the car! The car! We're we'll spinning now. Oh, and my nose, and my nose is still itchy. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not gonna sneeze or anything, but it's still itchy. Ah, ah. And I do, 
And I do feel like it's about to sneeze at this point. Because it just glassed it and stuff. Plus we pushed it in. I feel, I feel, yeah, now yourself bored, but me myself can also be bored too. That's how I, that's how I felt like yesterday. I felt bored. Yes, still. Music videos are always interesting with music, you know. That's how, like, you know, a person just, you know, download the videos and just uh, put intense music in there. Last lap here, and they will end up this part though. Next part will finally end up group E, unless there's another sin conduct in the way. Oh god, we don't want another, we don't want another one of that happening. Ugh. And I do, and I do know this is the last lap, though. This is the last lap of this race, and this part will be done real quick. Oh no, the car! Just, oh, the, the wheels off the road just twist the car. I don't really, I don't really like that happening, it just twists, it just twists the car away. You know, that's not cool. Oh, guys, man, the car got loose here. Be calm now, car. Be calm. Ah. Ooh. Anyways, this race is now done. And sub eight minutes. That was I was cool to get sub eight minutes through the total time of the race, so. Alright, this uh, contract is now done. For 800 credits in contract earnings. I get the team bronze car right here. And team silver. One more contract left. Unless it's not standard contract that will be after this contract. We won't know for sure. We'll have to find on the next part. Alright everyone. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a very good night.